dear students now we are going to discuss the important questions in electromagnetic fields let's start with the first unit the first unit is all about the introduction of electromagnetic field so we can divide the first unit into two halves the first one is all about the basics of electromagnetic fields so what is mean by electromagnetic field the sources of electromagnetic field units and constants used in emf then the integrals like line integral surface integral and volume integral review of vector algebra so here we can cover the vector addition dot product and cross product okay then the important part is coordinate system and its transformation there are three coordinate systems used in this emf cartesian coordinate system cylindrical coordinate system and spherical coordinate system okay so and also we can transform one coordinate to and another coordinate so in this first of these two topics are very important coordinate systems and its transformation and also the review of vector algebra in the second half unit so here we can have the different theorems and its proof divergence theorem stokes theorem helmholtz theorem so here these two theorems are very very important we can expect questions from these two theorems and also the null identities and its proof the very important identity proof is del cross del cross h vector so this h can be anything del cross del cross a vector or del cross del cross f vector curl of curl of any vector this identity is very important one so we can expect this null identities and this identity as well as this divergence theorem stokes theorem so apart from that we can have the other topics that is gradient divergence and curl next the second unit it is all about electrostatics so we can divide the second unit into two halves the first part covers the coulomb's law gauss law poisson and laplace equations and boundary conditions the second half is all about capacitance so here we can expect the question from the coulomb's law gauss law or boundary conditions or from the capacitance so here we can derive the capacitance value for parallel plate cylindrical and spherical capacitor and also we can expect problems from this capacitance so here we can concentrate more on this capacitance part then the overview of this last coulomb's law states that the force between two charges is directly proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance gauss law means integration of d dot ds is equal to q the poisson equation is represented as del squared v is equal to minus rho v by epsilon laplace equation is del squared v is equal to 0 then the boundary conditions there are two important boundary conditions used for this one is et1 is equal to et2 correct to that is tangential component of electric field intensity next it dn1 is equal to dn2 if rho s is equal to 0 that is the condition apart from these two important topics we can have other topics we can expect two marks from this one so one is comparison of dielectric and conductor here we can concentrate on this term sigma by omega epsilon so based on this we can divide the material as dielectric and conductor the next one is equation of continuity it can be represented like this electrostatic energy as 1 by 2 cv squared point of ohm's law so ohm's law can be represented as j is equal to sigma e dielectric constant is nothing but epsilon not into epsilon r here epsilon not is a constant value epsilon r is the relative permittivity next electric flux density that is d is equal to epsilon into e this can also be represented as psi by s yes. okay that is flux per area then the electric potential that is represented as v is equal to minus integration of edl okay so these all are the important 
two more kind of questions. Next, third unit, it is all about magnetostatics. So here we can divide this third unit into two halves. The first half covers the Lorentz force equation, Ampere's law, Bayer Chavat law, and the boundary conditions for magnetostatics. The second half covers the inductance of various inductors. So in this one, the Lorentz force equation is given as the overall force is equal to the sum of electric force and magnetic force. So the statement is F is equal to Q into E plus V cross B. So this is Lorentz force equation. Next one is Ampere's law. So here it is the integral of H dot dl is equal to the total current around the line. So Ampere's law is also very important and its applications. So the question may be define or state the Ampere's law and explain the applications. Okay. The next one is Bayer Chavat law. So it states that the magnetic field intensity or magnetic flux density is directly proportional to the current element and inversely proportional to the square of the distance. Okay. So these three topics are very important and its applications are also very important. Okay. So the next one is inductance. The second of covers the inductance part. So this one is very very important. Definitely we can expect the derivation of inductance for the coupled coils, solenoid, toroid or coaxial cable. And also we can expect the problems from this inductance side. So this inductance is very very important in this third unit as well as these two laws. Apart from that we can have the boundary conditions for this magnetostatics. Here the boundary conditions are the tangential component of magnetic field intensity is continuous across the boundary except for a good conductor. If it is a good conductor then this tangential magnetic field intensity is not continuous. It is discontinuous. This is the first boundary condition and also the magnetic flux density is also continuous across the boundary. Bn1 is equal to Bn2. So these three are the boundary conditions for magnetic field. You have to remember it. Okay. Then the magnetic energy it is represented as 1 by 2 Li squared or 1 by 2 B into H. It is also an important to mark question. So the next one is behavior of magnetic materials. So behavior of magnetic materials means there are three kinds of magnetic materials available dia, para, ferro. So its comparison is also very important and here the magnetization curve or BH curve. So this curve represents the behavior of the magnetic materials. So this curve is also important for 2 mark question or for 6 mark question. The next one is magnetic torque. So it can be given as capital T is equal to BIA sin theta or T is equal to M into B. Here M is nothing but magnetic moment. So in this magnetization curve, this magnetization value is also very important that is capital M. This capital M is equal to mu R plus 1 into H. So you have to remember this formula. Okay. So next one is permeability. It can be given as mu is equal to mu naught into mu r. Mu naught is a constant value 4 pi into the power minus 7. Here mu r is a relative permeability. It can be different for different medium. Okay. So mu r is equal to 1 for free space. Do you all understand this one? Next fourth unit is Maxwell's equations. So here we can divide the unit into two halves. One is Maxwell's equation. The next one is electromagnetic wave equation. So these four Maxwell's equations are very important and we can definitely expect one question from this Maxwell's equation. Okay, in part B or part C. So derive the Maxwell's equations and its significance. The first equation is from Ampere circuit law. The second equation is from Faraday's law. The third equation is from electric gas law. Fourth one is magnetic gas law. Then the electromagnetic wave equation, its derivation is also very important. 
and one more question is here that is boundary condition for this electromagnetic waves. So here we can combinely write both boundary conditions of electric field and magnetic field. Okay. The last unit is plane electromagnetic waves. So here we can have three important topics. One is plane waves propagation in lossless medium, lossy medium. So we can expect any one question from these two topics and then the normal incidence at a conducting boundary and dielectric boundary. The final one is pointing vector. So these five topics are very important. You have to cover either these two normal incidence or these two plane wave propagation. So definitely one question from this one and one question from this one. Here pointing vector is also very important. We can expect problems from this unit. So especially to find out the phase velocity or group velocity and the alpha attenuation constant, phase shift constant, the intrinsic impedance and skin depth. So in this unit the important two mark is the skin depth, the attenuation constant, phase velocity, all these things. Okay.